The most common soccer ball used in all types of events across the nation is a 32 panel ball made up of 20 hexagonal shapes and 12 pentagonal shapes. When these balls are sewn together, the inflation process makes these soccer balls a near perfect sphere. However, a Jabalani soccer ball is composed of eight spherically molded panels. Each of these panels are manufactured with a textured surface in order to improve its aerodynamics. The Jebelani is one of the most criticized soccer balls by both players and coaches across the nation. This ball was used in the 2010 FIFA World Cup. A Bra Brazilian goalkeeper by the name of Julio Cesar compared this ball to a quote-unquote supermarket ball that favored strikers and worked against all of the goalkeepers. This ball is known to behave nothing like the 32 panel soccer balls as it knuckles throughout the air, making it nearly impossible for goalies to protect the goal. The asymmetry of this soccer ball creates side forces that push the ball in one specific direction, causing it to knuckle. Knuckling happens when the drag coefficient decreases, which indicates that the flow transitions from laminar to turbulent, and occurs when at zero or non-zero spin, the same the seams of the ball channel airflow in an unusual and erratic manner, making its trajectory unpredictable. According to NASA, their tests show that the speed of greatest knuckling for traditional ball is around 30 miles per hour. The typical kicking speed of a World Cup caliber player is about 50 to 55 miles per hour. The Jabulani soccer ball experienced knuckling at 50 miles per hour because of its smooth smoothness, which caused it to knuckle at much higher velocities. Mathematically, aerodynamic lift forces that act on a smooth sphere can fluctuate, causing it to zigzag. The differences in air pressure create lift just like airplane wings. Bernoulli's equation can be associated with this part of the findings. The drag coefficient is changed and impacted by which face of the ball is kicked. By looking at the ball, you can see that depending on which face of the ball is being kicked, the ball will turn and swerve in correspondence to that specific face. The major explanation from this comes from the change in drag coefficients when different grooves are being cut through by the air. The grooves and cuts on the ball now cause the ball to be almost randomly curved as long as it is hit square and without any spin. The shape and amount of panels on the ball largely affect how the ball will move in the air. With the conventional ball, not only are there more panels, but more seams on the ball as well. This in turn increases the surface roughness, which will also determine the speed that the ball will knuckle. The more roughness, the slower the knuckling speed. The less roughness, the higher the knuckling speed. In conclusion, the Jablani soccer ball was disliked by many soccer players and coaches as it has greatly underperformed other soccer balls used in the World Cup. The reason behind it is the Jabaloni soccer ball has a significantly less amount of seams and the soccer ball flat pattern can be dramatically altered. The drag coefficient decrease causing the soccer ball to knuckle. This condition occurs when the flow transitions from laminar to turbulent with zero or near zero spin. This will cause the moving pattern of the soccer ball to be difficult to predict. The ball will turn and swerve in corresponding to that specific phase, depending on which phase of the ball is being kicked.